on Dennis. How many times have I told you? But, 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 look what I found. I hope for you it's not another rat, Dennis. I swear it's not. Look, it better not be. <laughs> now, let's see. What is this? Oh, look at the little puppy. Gucci, Gucci. What a cute little devil. It's too bad we're going to have to cut it into teeny weeny little pieces. In the name of science, of course. <laughs> Sinful brain! That was my last blade! I hope you understand what this means. Well, all right, all right. Oh no, not a chance! <laughs> hmm. Blades. I need to get blades for my scalpel. Now wait here, little cabbage. <laughs> A wave of fear washes out over the city as unidentified terrorists continue to abduct innocent victims. Some witnesses describe these criminals as mutant vegetables. AIA agents claim it could very well be another outburst of collective paranoia similar to the one in 1957 concerning the now legendary Jersey Devil. Hmm? Also in the Jersey area, police are still searching for the evil Dr. Narc. Mad scientist is... <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Twig. And I am Fizz. And welcome to Jersey fucking Devil, one of my childhood fucking favorites. You've been wanting, you've been wanting to do this episode since before we even started the channel. Yes, because no one knows about this game. It's underrated as fuck. And the fact that Cody told me that some guy on YouTube fucking reviewed this or whatever. I can't remember what YouTube channel he told me it was, but... At least it's not completely on the radar. This is going to be a 100% uh, playthrough. Because I remember where most things are. You remember where most things are? Yeah, it'll come back to me as I play. What the fuck is that? It was a mutated carrot. I, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> yeah, this game is all mutated uh, vegetables. Really? Well, most enemies are mutated vegetables. Really? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> what it's, are, a, it's, what a, are, it's a masterpiece. What are you, is the what Pink it Panther? Is. No. You're, you're, you're the you, Jersey Devil. You're Kangaroo? Yeah, we're Kangaroo. Kangaroo Jack, the video game. <laughs> 2001 PlayStation, released by Universal Studios. That movie did not get a game. No, it didn't. Okay. <laughs> no. Or did it? 
No, no you're definitely no, fucking no. with me. No, I like I had to remember, did it? <laughs> Cause I mean we have a fucking game for 1999's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Which we saw the other day. Wait, it's Jim really, Carrey's Grinch? Yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> like really fucking bad. It's a platformer. Really? Now yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, they had it they had it at Games to Gold the other day when we went. Really? Yeah, I didn't see a price though. If it was like twenty bucks, I might fucking buy it. Oh good, the analog sticks do work. Alright, cool. Feels kind of weird though. You were expecting to just to be D pad? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I like the analog sticks better. Were you gonna try to play it with the D pad? No, I don't. I don't want to play with a D pad. See, look at K for kangaroo, dude. You gonna tell me that's not kangaroo Jack? It's narf. Narf. Doctor Narf. Doctor Narf. Narf. Yes. It's narf. So each level, right? Yeah. Has a has a set number of boxes that you gotta collect. Yeah. And when you get them all, you get like a, a fucking little vial of like, chemicals. Eco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when you beat the boss, watch, you get that bottle. And then when you beat the boss, he blow you blow up the lab, or the battle arena, whatever. And that's can we? How, yeah. Can I cut you off real quick? Can we look in the bottom? Ah, oh, never mind. You wonder it, what that was? It looked like it said poo. No, because <laughs> the P and the O, it looked like it said poo. Poo. Oh, yeah, no, that's number of power ups. Uh, all right, all right cool. here we go. And each like section, so each section has two levels. Yeah. And a secret level. So three levels. Yes, and then for every boss lab that you defeat, you get power. Okay. So this requires two power for me to fucking oh, push out the way. That's what I was just way. gonna ask you. Yeah. You're not gonna get that pumpkin. Oh, uh, there's a plethora of pumpkins in this game. You gotta get all of the pumpkins. No. <laughs> it is not required. Oh, look at that. What? I was in the tree. I'm the tree meister. <laughs> look at me, I'm the trees. I'm the tree meister. I count on them. I count on them. I love them. I love seahorses <laughs> and seashells. Seahorse, seashell. Yeah, it's, it's a good. fucking trip. <laughs> so you have wings? Yes. He flies. Cool. I want to make a Mothman. A Mothman? Like fucking killer moth? Or just like just Mothman, Mothman in like, general? Like the urban legend Mothman? If we can get a Jersey Devil game, I'm pretty sure we can get a Mothman game. If we can get a Slenderman game, we can get a fucking Mothman that, game. That, dude. That game. Like I, it's which still one though, the original or are you talking about Slender the Arrival? Oh, the original. Oh, okay. Like I, it's still crazy how like big that game was. Mm -hmm. and, and it was just a PC just, game. Everybody's just like Slenderman. Like I remember that. That's a bad pumpkin. Yes. Really bad pumpkin. Those are bombs. Even though they, when I was a kid, I always thought they were like socks. What? <laughs> yeah. You thought the bombs were socks? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> kind of look like black socks. <laughs> <laughs> now what's this thing? That's the second level, but we can't go there yet. Dome sweet dome? Yeah. My dome piece. Tail. That's lives? Yes. Okay. And then the purple bar at the top is health. Yeah. And golden pumpkins restore health. Gotcha, gotcha. 50 pumpkins, here we go, baby. Damn, I want to get on top of there. When I was a kid, I used to always fucking like just look out in the view. Cause look at that, look at that background. Ah, uh, look at that, straight from Google image. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. God, dude, I love I love old games. Same. Cause it's like you can really tell they made with what they could get. Like, I mean, when you think about it, it's more effort. Back in the day, this was the best they could get. Yeah. I feel like it did require more effort too to make games back then. I don't know. But then I look at the Last of Us Part Two, and I'm like, damn, all right, <laughs> this, 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 this was quite the project. This is quite the experience. All right, and that's all. <laughs> that's everything in this area. And now we continue. Fucking, I'm about, I just fucking made it to Seattle day two in Abby's part. I almost, I almost got all the collectibles. Almost there. Wait, in Abby's part, didn't you just tell me like yesterday that you were on day two of Ellie? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, I just passed day two of Ellie or whatever. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Did I ever tell you the story of how I broke the toilet at my work? What? What? <laughs> you broke the toilet at your work? Yeah. So, <laughs> and I don't mean I clogged it and it stopped flushing. No, 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 no. I destroyed my fucking toilet <laughs> at work. So it was like 5.30 in the morning. I'm trying to poo, you see? Oh, this is when you when you opened? Like an opening shift? Yeah. It's like 5.30 in the morning, I'm sitting on the toilet trying to go, and dude, people just keep fucking coming in. So I get up, I'm like, oh, whatever, and just neutrally, I fucking, like, go to fucking, like, shut the fucking toilet seat. Yeah, yeah. But it was a hard fucking ceramic toilet seat. Dude, when I hit the fucking toilet, the whole entire front end of the fucking toilet just clink <laughs> onto the fucking floor. <laughs> And me, at 5.30 in the morning, I'm panicking. Yeah. I called my boss. I woke him up. I was like, hey, man, I kind of just broke the toilet. <laughs> He's like, I kind of just broke the toilet. He's like, what do you mean you broke the toilet? I'm like... You took a massive shit. No, it's gone. Like, the <laughs> toilet's fucking gone, dude. And he came in. He's like, how the fuck did you do this? My boss doesn't swear. Yeah. He's not the type to swear. He was like, how the fuck did you do this? He was like, he was like pretty upset about it. Yeah, dude, I broke the fucking toilet. <laughs> I shattered the fucking lid. I broke the whole fuck... Dude... Picture a toilet. Like, you know the bowl? You yeah. know the front end of the bowl? Yeah. Picture, like, three-fourths of the front end on the fucking floor, dude. <laughs> I was like, this did not just happen. What the fuck? What that, the that's, fuck? That took some force. Dude, I didn't even force it. I just went, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, whew. And it was that day. Dude, <laughs> I was like, get the fuck out of here. No way. My boss is like, what are we going to do? I was like, you got to get a new toilet, man. I don't I was like, I don't like, know. Are you insured? <laughs> I was like, you fucking make, well, I don't know, fucking like $20,000 a day. Fuck off. <laughs> Go buy a toilet. Go. <laughs> Go buy a I toilet. don't want to hear no bitching. I know I broke it, but still. I know I broke it, but where do you want me to fucking shit, dude? <laughs> Go get a fucking toilet. This wouldn't have happened if you would let me lock the fucking doors while I try to take a shit. Dude, I... Don't even... <laughs> don't even get me fucking started. Oh, I, I totally go, agree I with you. I could go on all day about the no-break bullshit at that fucking store. Most of my shifts, I don't fucking care. But my Saturdays, when I work nine hours... Yeah. I don't get any fucking time to eat food, take a shit, go outside for a cigarette. I can't fucking do anything. Like every Saturdays like every that? Every fucking Saturday. Well, not every Saturday, but 95% of them are that busy. Yeah. Because it's fucking Saturday. It's Saturday. Everybody's, most people Fridays, are home. Fridays and Saturdays. Those are the busy days. But when I started working, I told my boss, I'm never working a Friday. I was like, I Have work you not worked a Friday? I've like worked ever? Friday. I've worked Fridays before, but that's because I, I, I need to switch. And fuck. I'll like, all right, you work this day for me. I'll work it Friday. I don't give a fuck. But yeah. He's never, like, scheduled me for Friday. Is it bad there on Fridays? It can be. Really? Like, it's payday. It's payday for most people. True. It's payday for most people. Everybody's getting out of work for the weekend. Everybody's getting their fucking cigarettes, their beer. Their, uh, their schmear. Their fucking ungodly amount of scratch tickets. <laughs> Don't even fucking... Uh, the scratch... The, mm -hmm. the scratch bickets? Fucking, dude, scratch tickets are a plague. It's li like, I had somebody call it one day idiot tax. It is idiot tax. It is idiot tax. It's your tax for being a fucking idiot. Ooh. Fuck you. I love how enemies just explode in this game. Yeah, they don't even, like... They're not like, oh no! Wow, they were all just chilling right here? Yep. That's cheap as fuck. <laughs> Dude, what was that fucking story you told me the other day about, like, the last time you ever broke a controller? Ah, oh, fucking like, Uncharted? Play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what fucking <laughs> happened again? Dude, um... So, like, the last time I broke a controller <laughs> was fucking... This was PS3 days. Uncharted, so... Was it Uncharted 2? One. Okay. Uncharted 1. And it was, like, around the time the fucking third one came out, so 2011? Yeah. Alright. So, it was one of the fucking shootout parts, and dude, I was just stuck on it forever to the point where I fucking... Dude, I just, like, went to fucking whip my controller to my side, yeah. but I overshot my throw, <laughs> and it fucking whipped against my radiator, and just shattered. And it's like 12.30 at night, so I'm like, oh no. 
<laughs> so I'm like, oh no. And this was your only controller, yeah. This is yes. my only controller, yeah. So I fucking went downstairs. And I woke my mom up at like 12.30 and then I was like, hey, just just a heads up in the morning, we gotta go to Walmart. I was like, I need a new controller. <laughs> and then I got one of those really shitty afterglow ones. Oh, but yeah. you had to get something. I had to get something. And what was really shitty about Uncharted 1 and the afterglow contro uh, controller. Yeah. Uncharted 1's the only fucking Uncharted game that uses the 6-axis, like, capability on the controllers. Like, 6-axis is where you shake the controller to fucking go with the game. Really? You never played Uncharted until the PS4. Yes, Uncharted 3, when the fucking, when the, like, whatever the fuck you want to call them, when they jump on your back, you have to shake them off. Oh, the, when you, on the PS3 version? On the PS3 version, you have to shake them off. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it, it, yeah, not for fucking me, because the Afterglows didn't have 6 access, so every time they jumped on my back, I had to accept my death. You couldn't go in the options and turn that shit off? No, because it was a gimmick. It was a gimmick. It was it was something that was introduced around the time Uncharted 1 came out, huh. so they wanted to use the gimmick. And if, if you could shut off 6 access, fuck me, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. So... You bitch. So yeah, fucking dude, when they would jump on my back, I'd either have to ho I'd either have to hope for them to jump off of me or yeah. I'd have to just die. Just and like, and right dude, there. you know the part at the end when you're when when uh whoever, like it's Navarro, he's fucking lifting the Oh, El Dorado, yeah, 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 and, and there's you have a fucking to, bunch of them. You have yeah. To run, dude, yeah. don't even fucking get me started. People say the Navarro boss fight, like that whole section where you have to go through all the guys is one of the hardest. It's hard on the fucking harder difficulties, but in general, it's not really hard, no. Dude, fucking that shit was a pain in my ass, like not having six access for that game. Thank God 2 and 3 didn't. Didn't fucking use that. I wonder why. I wonder why they stopped right away. Stupid gimmick, right? Yeah, because fucking not- When the PlayStation 3 came out, the controllers didn't have 6-axis right away. I think 6-axis is something that came later on or you had the option. Yeah. Because I've had- P I've seen PS3 controllers that don't have 6-axis. They're super fucking light. It's weird. Hmm. That's fucking crazy. I never knew that. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, so in this game too, I forgot you have to rescue fucking hostages. Is that Squidward? <laughs> it's... Go look, go look, go look, go, go look again. That's Squidward. That's fu- oh, jeez. No- oh! <laughs> <laughs> It just looked like the fucking- that spider baby toy from Toy Story 1. We don't- we don't talk about that here. No, PTSD. <sighs> that shit used to scare you? Of course. <laughs> All of them did. Gotta fucking push this fat fuck. Yeah, I fucking I remember playing. Uh, I don't I forget how old I was, but I was playing uh, Wrath of Cortex when I had when I used to have my GameCube in my room. Yeah, and I, and it was this there's this one driving level where it's like a race, but you know, but it plays like a normal level. You still have to. Oh, there's still a crystal for you to grab. Well, I mean, you would grab the crystal if you got first place, but there was still a bunch of boxes for you to break to get the gem. You had to break all the boxes. Yeah. And I just fucking, I kept missing boxes. I wasn't even trying to win first place. I just kept missing boxes and shit because the controls on the vehicle were kind of like wonky. I fucking got so pissed. I remember I had a collection of fucking like the, like the most recent Bionicle line from that time. And I just fucking whipped my controller at him and the fucking pieces went everywhere. <laughs> and you were probably just like, oh no. No, my brother got wicked pissed at me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'll tell you this though. <laughs> As as kids, no one was fucking worse at raging at video games than one of my cousins from my dad's side of the family. Really? Oh, dude, it was fucking bad. How about my little brother? See, I mean, he was like your little brother at that point. Maybe a little bit worse. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Like, what would he do? Fucking like, scream, swear, fucking whip controllers, and then the. The fucking moment where he got a desktop computer, I don't remember when that was, that was years ago already, but he would fucking, like, bang the, de like, the fucking part that holds his keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get your shit together. Shit was mad funny. Get your shit As I together. got older, this shit was funny. When I was a kid, that shit was scary. I was like, yo, calm down, bro. <laughs> yo, 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 go, calm down, dude, calm down. <laughs> Please don't hit me. <laughs> I'd be like, your mom's gonna beat your ass, relax. It's like, I, I don't like that conflict. I get enough of that in my own house. <laughs> <laughs> I come here to escape. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. Ooh. 
Nice. That was cool. Two at the same time. Slick as fuck, dude. You know, uh, think we can wrap up episode one after you collect these narfs? Yeah. Oh no! We can wrap up right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, everybody. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, this is, this is a good point to wrap up. All right, we want to thank you all for joining us in the very first episode of Jersey Devil. I can't wait to fucking do more of this shit. And we'll see, uh, hope you guys enjoy this game, because I'm telling you, it's it's fucking fun. It's underrated. And uh, I'm enjoying what I'm seeing so far. It looks like a lot of fun platformer goodness. Yeah, yeah. it's just old school fucking platforming, dude. Anyways, we'll see you all in the next episode. Take it sleazy. Take it sleazy.